back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. I don't know about you guys, but my social media has been flooded with tunnel content. Yesterday, a video went viral of a Hasidic Jewish man in New York City crawling out of a tunnel. Now they are apparently exposing other tunnels that they have under synagogues. I just, I don't know. The memes are insane. I personally have no idea what's going on, but that has been 99% of my Twitter feed since yesterday. The cops are now trying to shut it all down. The media really has no idea what's going on, just like me. I'm gonna wait for the memes and the tweets to clear before I try to figure it out. I'm sure we'll do an episode about it, but it's absolutely wild. But all of this tunnel talk, guys, reminded me of a different tunnel story that went down on TikTok instead of Twitter. And you guys know I always love finding weird new things on TikTok. We have learned so much about different types of people and different things that I otherwise would have never believed or known about, like Therians and passport bros and the specifics of pronouns, and now we're learning about people that dig tunnels for fun. Before we get into this though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section episode. Okay, so I stumbled across this woman on TikTok who, at first glance, just seems like a lady who's making videos about her home renovations. However, I quickly learned that that is not all she was doing. She was not renovating her home. She was building underground tunnels in her basement. You just need to see this. It's so strange, but here's the first video that I saw. We are now in my normal looking basement. I'm renovating this room. It's a bit haunted. Uh? And off the side of the laundry room is a hoarded bedroom and my workshop. Everything on this side of the house was built by me a few years ago. And the spiral staircase goes down a hexagonal well. The sub-basement is a great mess since I have been building tunnels off of it for the last year. This is the entrance to the tunnel system, and to the side is the steampunk mechanical box. The entrance tunnel goes down a decline 30 feet in and 10 feet down. The first chamber is 22 feet below grade. I hate this. I hate it. You could not pay me money to go in there. I am currently working on this branch tunnel and was recently stopped dead by getting splattered in the eye with Dexpan. That stuff is very alkaline and damaging to the eyes. I'll make a separate video about that. What do you think? Should I convert my house into an Airbnb? No, absolutely not. Nobody should go in those damn tunnels. I do not trust it. It was already creepy to begin with, but now that I'm re-watching all of this with the knowledge that Mark Zuckerberg and other billionaires are building underground bunkers in Hawaii, does she know something? that we don't. Is she in with them? Like why, I, I genuinely don't know why she's doing this unless she just took the movie Holes to heart and decided that that was gonna be her calling, I don't know. Like I am genuinely impressed that she's just doing this by herself under her own home, but I also have loads of questions like much of her audience. Somebody commented and said, this is awakened by free will. I'm about to do this in a rental. Like every man is suddenly so jealous. They're like, why have we just been sitting around letting this woman build tunnels under her home when we're doing nothing? Gonna dig me a hole, gonna dig me a hole. Gonna put a nerd in it. Gonna put a nerd in it. Somebody else said she's playing Minecraft in real life, LOL. Another person said, oh, we are so gonna see this again on Dateline in about 10 years. Yeah, when she rents out this house or sells it to some creepy old dude who's like hiding children. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Another person said, I genuinely question the legality of these undertakings. Exactly, that's really the crux of this story. Like I'm sure that there's a reason why she's doing this, I'm sure there's some rationality, but I have no idea how she's doing it herself, if she even got permission, if you have to get permission for this, it's so odd. And the thing is guys, she's not out in the middle of nowhere. She's literally in the DC suburbs doing this, building tunnels on her property near her neighbor's homes. Here's another video. In August of 22, I cut an opening off the side of the sub-basement and started to carve into the solid rock fabricated an elevator to lift materials. I used hundreds of concrete blocks and yards of hand-mixed concrete for the 30-foot entrance tunnel. Okay, I would just have to stop. Imagine being friends with this woman and you're like, hey, Kayla, I think that's her name, Kayla, do you want to go out to the bars later? No, I'm sorry, I have to go work on my tunnel. No, I'm so sorry. I have to go down into the depths of my basement with my handmade elevator and my mining shaft 
with my thousands of bricks and build a tunnel. This whole thing sounds like she wanted to get out of the date with a guy that she thought was super boring and she was trying to make up some excuse. Like, I'm so sorry. Gotta go home and build my tunnels. And she just took it to heart. As it got deeper underground, I ran into a lot of groundwater and a spring which made work harder and required constant pumping. Eventually, I set up a sump basin and a pump which is keeping the system dry. This is a lot of effort. Set up a blower and air duct for ventilation. It is. It's incredibly impressive. I just don't understand it. One of the forms failed and the concrete bulge needed to be removed, which was affectionately called the elephant's foot. There is still a lot of work left to do, but I am having a blast and enjoying sharing this project with you. I'm so glad she's having a blast. Somebody commented and said, are we allowed? To build tunnels? I don't think so. I think that's why the cops are going after these Hasidic Jews in New York City as well. I don't think it's allowed. Somebody else said, yeah, quarantine was weird for me too. <laughs> Somebody else said, I love this, but I think therapy is cheaper. It probably is, to be honest. Somebody else said, I always felt like my home is missing a dangerous mine shaft. Like, I don't think she's a professional at this. What if it just caves in? She does one thing wrong and her entire house just caves in on her. What if she's down in her tunnel <laughs> late at night and something falls on her? Like if that happened, could she even call for help? She probably needs a really dependable cell service provider like Pure Talk. Pure Talk gives you phenomenal coverage on America's most dependable 5G network. It's the same coverage you know and love, but half the price of the other guys. With unlimited plans starting at just $20 a month, the average family saves almost $1,000 a year. And in this economy, we all need that. And on top of that, they stand behind our values, which is why I love working with them. So today I'm challenging you to stand with a company that champions your values. Those of you who still believe in common sense, who believe in freedom and are tired of being a pawn for big corporations. It's time to join the masses who have fled their old wireless companies for something better with Pure Talk. And as a veteran-owned company, last year alone, they raised $10 million towards veterans' debt. Pure Talk is a company that you can truly feel proud to do business with. Just go to puretalk.com slash cooper to make the switch today. And right now, my viewers will save an additional 50% off your first month. That is puretalk.com slash cooper today. I trust them, and I know you will too. If I was in a sticky situation and I needed help, I could trust Pure Talk to make sure that my phone call went through. And this lady might need that. Another person said, some people read books, some people play games, some people yearn for the mines. And she certainly does. And they call it a mine. A mine! Like imagine telling miners that somebody is doing this for fun. Their incredibly dirty, dark, dangerous job that some woman in a dress is literally just gallivanting under her home doing this for fun. People need hobbies. When I said go outside and touch grass, I did not mean go outside and build a damn tunnel. I'm a woodpecker. Except with dirt. Now, immediately, another thing that comes to mind is what about her neighbors? Because like we've already established, she lives in a suburb. Like imagine seeing this sweet, young, quiet girl with her long dresses move in next door. And then a few months later, she's literally building exterior elevators to hoist up rocks and dirt from a mysterious deep trench in her yard. She's probably very noisy, very dirty, and frankly, very dangerous for the people around her. And the crazy thing is, she's not even any kind of structural engineer. She doesn't even work in construction. Her nine to five is in IT for software engineering. Is this her rebellion? Did she always want to be some kind of structural engineer, but she got stuck with software? And so this is how she gets out her angst. I genuinely have no idea. And on top of all that, she's apparently just learning as she goes, like watching YouTube videos to figure out how to dig a tunnel. The whole thing is impressive. The fact that she has pulled it off for this long and has made that much progress is incredibly impressive. But is it terrifying? and probably unsafe for both her and her neighbors? Absolutely yes. Is it crazy? Yes, it very much is. Now, like as a homeowner, I know the hoops you have to jump through to do any kind of home renovation, the quotes that you have to get. Oftentimes you have to get permits from the government to just like build up on your house or change something, you know, if it's gonna impact your neighbors, oh my God. And there is no way that this girl successfully got approval in the DC suburbs to build tunnels under her neighbor's homes. Like, I guarantee that did not happen. There were some TikToks saying that her neighbors were either first-generation immigrants or may not be comfortable going to the authorities about this, which gives some semblance of an answer about how the neighbors feel about this, that they're just trying to like turn a blind eye. They don't want to get in trouble. But regardless, she has been posting about this publicly for over a year, doing exactly what we just watched, very obviously showing what she's doing. And she has not been stopped. 
until now. Here's an article about this. TikTok tunnel girl told to stop building tunnel under her Northern Virginia home. They finally caught up to her. So a lot, they're, they're cracking down on tunnels this week, guys. There's a lot of crackdowns happening. And I'm conflicted about this, sort of, because on one hand, I hate that the government is such a fun sucker in trying to destroy this woman's tunnel digging dreams. I don't understand them, but obviously she has some sort of dreams. And she bought this house and she should be able to do whatever she wants with it. In theory, that would be great if we could do whatever we wanted with the homes that we buy. However... I'm slightly relieved for the sanity and the safety of her neighbors. Also, the whole thing is just weird. She might get herself killed. It's probably better for herself that this was stopped. Now, of course, the news of Tunnel Girl's government intervention hit TikTok and people have been breaking it all down and sharing their takes. And I think that this one just sums it up well. I've been on Tunnel Lady TikTok for a while now and it's been fantastic. Uh, it's a simple concept. A woman digs a tunnel below her suburban home, but now, the tone has shifted. Now people are saying, I didn't know. I, I thought she lived in the middle of nowhere. I didn't realize that the woman digging a tunnel below a suburban home was in the suburbs. Somehow I've stumbled onto the part of TikTok that's all righteous about it. People saying, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for her day to come. And I've been waiting for her to find what she's looking for down there. People come on here and say, I'm a geologist and I just knew what she was doing was wrong. We all knew. It's wrong to build a tunnel below your suburban home. People say she's setting a bad example. Yeah, nobody should do what she's doing. You don't dig a giant tunnel under your home with like an electric wheelbarrow and a prayer. And now we all saw ourselves there in the depths, deep below our own homes. Dear God. With our vague plans and total lack of relevant experience or knowledge, <laughs> just digging away, just digging away. Apparently there's something we could all learn from Tunnel Lady. It's that we all are searching for something very vague. We all have dreams. We all have deep, dark aspirations that we don't dare tell the world. We all have secrets. And only some of us are brave enough to go after them. <laughs> Apparently, it's freaking Tunnel Lady. And maybe she should be inspiring us all. I have no idea. This lady, Reese, said the best take. I don't support her, but I can't condemn her either. She's just Tunnel Lady being Tunnel Lady. Classic Tunnel Lady. You know, we all know one, don't we? Somebody else said, how dare she dig a hole in the privacy of her own home? <laughs> Another person said, someone on here said, it's funny because she's not my neighbor. And I think that that is the most balanced take. True. If I lived next door to her, I would be out there like a bird watcher every day. Like I would be the nosy Nancy staring at her. I don't know if I would report her because I'm very much against that. Ooh, that's why I don't live in an HOA. I'd be so, so angry. But I would just watch. I would be fascinated and I would try to get involved. I'd probably be very pissed off about it. But since I'm not her neighbor, I just get to enjoy it from afar. That's what we all get to do. And the thing is, if she wanted to build her tunnel in peace and live out her dreams, I would have suggested maybe some untouched areas of Appalachia, maybe the Cumberland Plateau in Tennessee or West Virginia, somewhere where she could have gotten at least five acres and dug her holes in peace. But it feels like you really set yourself up for failure choosing a suburb. Like anything other than a DC suburb could have been a good idea. I knew I should have taken that left toilet Albuquerque. Also, we apparently just learned that she's not just building a tunnel for the sake of building a tunnel, but she's building the tunnel and then she's going to use the rocks that she pulls out from her under the home trench to build a castle. I don't know where she's gonna build the castle. Maybe that's where she's buying the land. What a sustainable queen. Reuse, reduce, recycle. No <laughs> natural resources go untapped with Kayla. Anyway, she's building a castle. So good for her. Now, I wanna end this episode with Kayla herself because she is taking this temporary government shutdown in stride. And she decided to reenact exactly what happened when officials stopped by. This is not her just telling us what happened. She's doing a play-by-play. -play. I don't know how we've gotten to this point in the plot, but she's doing reenactments now. She has a freaking Tesla. Are you sure that's what they said? They're from the city? Yeah, I'm not available right now. Can you see if they'll come back tomorrow? Yeah, 10 o'clock, that, that's, that's fine. There's other angles. Hello. Good morning, how you doing? Good morning. I don't know if you remember me, I'm Jack Smith. Yes. I'm a building official. Did you see this? Voice actor. Voice actor reading the actual transcription. Names are changed. Did she hire somebody? Is she married? Who are you? We have some complaints. Basically, there's some construction going on. And we were just here, basically, to find out if there is and see what needs to be done. Uh, what kind of construction? Uh, basically, they said it's excavation. Yeah, a little bit. Can we go down and take a look? A little bit. Sure. 
Okay. So they did give me a stop work order and are requiring an immediate evaluation by a professional engineer. Fortunately, contrary to fuel rumors here, it is constructed entirely below the slab of my house and it shouldn't be too hard to get the permits and approval. The whole thing is so... What is this? Why did she... Why a reenactment? Why is she so determined to keep going? Has she answered that? I don't think she has. I think she's just doing it because she craves a tunnel. Somebody said they just hate to see a girl boss winning. So true. They gotta keep the women down. Somebody said, why didn't you just get the permits first? Well, I mean, to her credit, because it's the government and nobody wants to deal with the government, I've put off going to the DMV for over a year for like the most simple task because I just don't want to do it. So she probably was just like, eh, I'm gonna excavate an entire trench under my home. Shh. Nobody needs to know about that. But like, if you're running the risk of injuring your neighbors because their house falls into your trench or your house falls into your basement trench and you hit one of their pipes or something, you keep them up at night with your post nine to five digging and excavating. Maybe it's good that the government stepped in. I cannot believe that I'm on record saying that, that Brett Cooper just said maybe it's a good thing that the government stepped in. I cannot believe it, but maybe in this case, it's okay. Again, I'm not hating the desire for a tunnel. I admire that she's going after her dreams, that she's motivated, that she has that post nine to five grind, but maybe buy some land, crazy thought. Maybe buy some acreage and build your tunnels in peace under the trees instead of your suburban home. Do it out there, that's all we're asking. That is all I've got for tunnels today, folks, but considering the state of my Twitter feed, I'm thinking that we'll be back for a tunnel talk part two, New York Hasidic Jews edition, because everything is tunnels these days. Well, guys, I hope you liked this episode. Make sure that you like this video. Subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. See you guys next time.